Hey guys, so I am hanging out in my tiny house. It's gotten pretty cold over the past week and a half or so. And so I have the heater running in the downstairs part of the tiny house. So if you hear a little background noise, that's what it is. I turned on this video and just started recording without any plan as to what exactly I was going to to talk about. I did a poll on the community post uh, feature that's on my account now and what most of you guys actually want to see are more tiny house videos and I guess I'm just putting it out there asking what exactly you want to see. I've pretty much showed you every single part of this tiny house. I can't think of another video to make besides a better, more concise, new, updated tour of my house. And that feels a little bit redundant because I've already made probably three other tour videos, but I get the the decoration has changed a little bit and I now have a stabilizer so it would look much better and more enjoyable to watch. Still though, I probably will make that soon, but I just want to know, like, what is it about my tiny house that you want to know more about? The other piece that people were responding to as well was the nature connection and I have plans to film more about that. I actually just launched a forest bathing immersive retreat which will be happening up in uh, around where I live in upstate New York. You can find all the information, I will make sure to link it below. If this is something you're interested in, I would be so honored to have you join the, the group. It'll be four days, three nights. It'll be a lot of different things, but it'll definitely focus on forest bathing and nature connection in general. And I will be co-guiding with a super awesome friend of mine who also does tarot readings and has a lot of experience within um, different communities. And so I just felt like the space that she is able to hold is really important. And so. We'll also be doing a little bit of um, circling and sharing some journaling as well as astrology. I'll be incorporating some of the astrology principles and ideas that I have learned so that you could apply them to your own life. Lastly, I will be also, I think this will probably be the biggest um, launch event, if, you, if I can even say that, about star bathing. This idea has been coming up a lot recently and it's, it's been probably a full year in the making and I'm just, I'm excited to be able to dive deep within the the understanding of what it is and its intention and then see the potential transformation that each person has as it is needed for them in that moment. It'll be a lot of sensory exploration while in the dark and under the stars while also tuning into what's above us and the light that shines within us and more of a guided more of a guided meditation in the second half of the event the star bathing I don't even know the star bath the star bath so I think that's one of the most exciting things for me because this feels so incredibly cool and 
to know that, you know, people from a long time ago, ancient people used to do this. It wasn't obviously a thing, it was their way of being, it was their lifestyle, it's how they connected with the more than human world. They would sit around in circles, tell stories, tell stories about different stars as they moved across the sky, shared their, their struggles, their victories together. And now it's so important to be in community with each other to not judge, to just listen to what someone has to say. We're all, we're all human. We all have a past, we all have a present, and we all have a future. And it's our past that defines our current beliefs often, but it doesn't necessarily have to inform our future. But honoring whatever it is that comes up for that person in the moment it's just a beautiful thing to do. And we, we certainly don't do enough of really authentic communication and authentic listening. And instead of looking to solve someone's problem, just being able to listen instead and hear what they have to say without any intention of trying to fix what it is they're going through. For me, that last piece is really important because as you know friends or family members would ask me you know how are you doing the, the daily grind of life isn't always so easy the fact that I don't get a lot of sleep most nights is definitely a challenge and prohibits me from being able to focus and accomplish tasks as effortlessly and as clearly as I uh, could if I got, you know, a 10, if I received 10 hours of sleep. When I think about the interactions that I've had when people are like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm you know, could be better, could be worse too. And, you know, I just share a little bit of maybe what recently has gone down and the, the immediate reaction is always, well, how can we how can we help this? And I think what's important to know is that I didn't say it was a problem. And part of it is that we're just so used to when someone else shares what they're going through to want to find a solution to help them along. And that's normal, right? And in a lot of situations that probably would be wanted by most people. But in this case, I'm really aware and conscious of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And on a daily level, it's not always so easy, but there's intention behind, there's a bigger reason why, and there's multiple reasons why, but I just wish people could listen and hold space for my current experience and also acknowledge that this is really what I want to do. I don't need it to be fixed. I don't need it to be different. I don't need, um, I don't need help. I need someone just to listen and hear what I have to say. And also a good way to really address this as a bigger issue instead of just you know responding and offering advice to ask if you know do, do you want advice do you want um, do you want me to share what I think could help the situation I think most people would would say yes but but I'm just really aware of the sensitivities within me and so um, moving forward I'm excited to to not necessarily immediately respond and try to fix something that's going on in someone's life. So another big thing that's been going on for a little while now and recently kind of got refired up. Back in September, September 7th, I started the work on my uh, my book 
and I've set that I've had this intention for a long time and I have this title of my college experience four years of self-inspired learning so it's it's supposed to kind of outline the the courses that I went through over the ne the four years from after I graduated high school up until I would have graduated college because I didn't go to college I have not and I'm not in college right now what I'm what I'm attempting to do with this book is to really you know authentically share my story and be as personal as as possible but also inspire others to you know look at what it is that they truly want I think this whole idea of college is really having this big um, it's having a, a moment right now it's a moment in time where people are just either fed up because it costs too much uh, they don't have another option other than going to college for some college is the the road to a better life and yet I think most people could really benefit from me sharing my story and being authentic and real and just trying to figure out life college really sucks you into this into this whole world which is beautiful in its own way but it also kind of sets you up that you go to college you graduate college you get a job you get married you have kids it's like your life to a certain extent is is planned out this book is an attempt to inspire people to want to learn themselves to follow all those passions and ideas and and thoughts to write, to express themselves, to get creative. You know, there's a lot of, of love out in the world and if you can really embody that and have compassion and empathy for others, there's nothing you can't do. I'm, I'm really humbled that I've had the opportunities that I've had that have led to me just understanding like I can do whatever it is that I really want to do. And so being able to tell my story and through my story inspire others to potentially choose differently. To recognize that they are one connection away from, from living the life they want to live. So I recently had a meeting with a former teacher of mine and that went incredibly well. I have a lot of a lot of ideas as to how I'm going to go about the next several months of really capturing what this moment is like because I have a feeling what's happening right now might not still be how I feel in the future and this moment and what it's teaching me, how I think about the past is really important to me to capture in this moment. And so I'm just working on writing that as well as thinking about the other topics and other moments that I felt like really changed who I am as a person. What else is going on? I have officially released my astrology readings, so if you're interested, all the information will be below as well as just on my website. You can go directly there. I also now have mentoring. You can look online, check it out. Um, feel free to let me know your thoughts. If you have questions, you can email me about that too. I have other videos planned where I want to really um, share my passion and ideas and my why behind, you know, why am I doing this? Why am I um, really desiring to share these gifts that I've now received with others? But for now, I, I don't think this is the video for that, but know that it's coming and I can't wait to 
share share it with you. It's been on my mind for a while, but I just haven't made the time to make it happen because I've been relaunching my website. So the the website has relaunched and it's really awesome and I'd love if you go check it out and let me know your thoughts because it, it was a really cool process and it looks incredible to me. So I'm just excited for that. Last thing I want to mention here is that I am off on a trip in, gosh, when will this be published? In probably nine days. Um, this will be published tomorrow. It's, it's Thursday. It's Friday today. So, oh my god, I leave not this Sunday, but next. Wow. So... Yeah, I'm headed to Bali, Indonesia to explore, to um, get a lot of things done, I guess, in a certain way and also experience a culture that I've wanted to experience for a while. And I'm also going to be at a retreat for four nights which I'm very excited about. Um, there hasn't been a lot of experiences where I've put so much intention and thought into what I'm going to do leading up to it. And so a lot of these, these changes within my website, my whole website redesign, um, me launching the astrology readings, the mentoring, the forest bathing immersive retreat, which will happen in June of 2019. And then re-getting a whole new order of forest bathing cards. I have you know, 250 more forest bathing cards, which is so exciting. This has all happened because I'm thinking about this retreat and what I really want to get out of it. I've just been tuning into what is it that I really want to do with my life? And it's not that I didn't feel ready at any point. It was more that I was focusing my time on things that weren't as important to me as these other pieces. And so storytelling is something that I've definitely put on the back burner for now, but that's only because of where I'm at like I am by all means I'm filming so much right now I have so much footage but it's not to be shared now it'll be shared in the future in a video that I'll make about um, family and caretaking and everything related to that that you could probably imagine. So that's that's mostly what I want to share. I know this video is a little long so for those of you who stuck around I am so grateful because you really listen to what I have to say and so it's thanks to you that I you know continue to have the passion and desire to just create more. Yeah so just feeling really grateful for all those people out there that have supported me in the past and still are supporting me because I've had so much love from just strangers, some friends and family and it just feels really, really, really good. So I will be filming in the future a video on uh, my, my mission, I guess, as to what it is I'm trying to accomplish here with this channel, my website, and all the other things I'm doing. I'll be filming a video about astrology, which you might be surprised might not actually talk that much about astrology at all. So to those of you who don't believe in it, it's a lot more than astrology. And so I would just ask you to listen with an open mind for that video. Also, we'll be talking about mentoring. I'll be having a video come out about 
the Forest Bathing Immersive Retreat. And then I imagine I'll also be filming my prep up to my trip to Bali. And so those are things you have to look forward to. I'm excited to, to share them and film them and then edit them. There's just a lot of good stuff going on and I'm just extremely grateful. So grateful for everything in my life that has led me to these just incredible and epic moments. So I'm going to stop the video now before I keep talking, but I really appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Life is wonderful Life is wonderful Never understood But life can be this good.